What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of L2P with Redonkulous Gaming. You've got Redonk, and before we get into today's lucky number 13th episode, let's go ahead and pause a second, make sure you hit subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make these videos. Follow us at Twitter, at Redonk Gaming, and visit us on our website, www.redonkulousgaming.com. So today we are sticking with Pocket Tournament DX for Nintendo Switch, and we are going to get into Chandelure, the ghost-type fighter within Pocket Tournament DX. Now, to break down Chandelure, the health pool is one of the smallest in the games, 510 hit points to be exact, and the type is Power Type. We do not have Pokemon types anymore. We have Fighter types, so he's a power-based fighter, and the best way to describe his playstyle is he's really a power projectile type fighter. His overall speed is average, and as always, we recommend that you stick with a standard cheer until you're comfortable to use a synergy-focused cheer. So let's get into how he overall interacts in the battlefield. Uh, dual phase versus field phase. Chandelure is a relentless attacker who can really make quick work of his enemies. He's an offensive specialist with average speed, but is quick to land very, very powerful attacks. And Chandelure has abilities that allow you to attack your opponent from long and melee range, which really makes him dangerous, especially with a power type assigned to him. Now, when you're in the field phase, make sure you utilize lateral movement plus your Y button and hit forward and Y and hold to charge up an ability to shoot ghostly energy at opponents and bring them into dual phase really on your terms. And once you're in dual phase, Chandelure has a great arsenal available, both in the form of special attacks as well as combos. So pressing A will shoot Will-O-Wisps, which is a mid-range attack, and if you hold A, then it will charge and release Will-O-Wisps prior to deploying. Forward A will make Chandelure perform Smog, which also is going to cause a negative status to your opponent. If you press back in A, you're going to make Chandelure perform the Flame Burst attack, which reduces the synergy gauge of your opponent, so it's something that you can utilize pretty heavily without solely relying on. Now, Chandelure also has abilities from the air, so while you're in midair, you can press A and then the direction that you are looking to aim, and you can perform the Incinerate attack, and the direction that you are pushing on is ultimately going to determine the trajectory of the Incinerate attack. Now, if you run into issues or you get backed up against the boundary or put into a jam, you can press up and A to perform a move called Overheat, but you're going to want to be careful over using Overheat too much. It's a great counter and a great tool to have, but it nullifies any positive status effects that you may or may not have active, or if you have nothing active, it will cause negative status effects to you temporarily, so it's just something that you're going to want to be careful of when you utilize Overheat. Chandelure has a great grab attack, which you can utilize by pressing B and Y, but grabs are easily countered. One of the things that's nice about Chandelure is that Chandelure has an enhanced grab, which is called Hex, and you can perform it by pressing down and A. Now, one of the great things about Hex is that it is actually a ranged grab, and it also has the ability to reduce your opponent's recoverable HP and hit for extra damage if they are currently suffering from a negative status. Now, in terms of combos, the best way to be effective with Chandelure is to balance your melee offense with a good ranged offense. You'll need to be strategic with your shield, but if you give your opponent the window to attack, you might get caught defaulting to overheat too much, and really the best defense here is a good offense because you do have the ability to range an opponent or melee them to death. So you can keep your pressure on your opponent in a number of ways, uh, the first of which that we'll go over is a mid-air attack, so while you're in the air, go ahead and press XX and then forward Y, and that will give you the ability to jump down on top of your opponent and perform a candlestick slap and then blast them with ghostly energy. Another effective and simple combo to use for midair is YY and then up Y, and that'll blast your opponent into the air and projectile vomit ghostly essence all over them. You can also incorporate hex into a short combo by pressing down Y and then down A, and then be sure to follow up that hex attack with a flurry of chain attacks, either from range or in melee. Now, we always take a second to review every single fighter's synergy phase, and the overall strength of Chandelure's synergy phase is pretty powerful. So, the added bonus from Chandelure's synergy phase 
comes from the ability to be strong in the field or in dual phase. So in other words, the ability to leverage your moves within melee or range. So we give him an overall score of 8 for his strength of synergy phase. Now his overall coolness factor in the aesthetics is that Chandelure is a, a unique fighter and he really stands out. The ghost type and just his overall look and the fact that he is a freaking light fixture but we still just kind of give him a score of 7. He's got some extra purple glow. Uh, there's just much cooler looking fighters in this game so aesthetically he just is not at the top of the list. Now his finisher on the other hand is pretty strong to average by itself. It does just about 220 hit point damage which is slightly above average but you also have the ability to couple it with a combo for some extra damage and the end result is that you increase the additional damage by about 35 hit points making you hit for about 250 plus damage. So Chandelure gets an 8 for a strong finisher and the combo that you're going to want to leverage here is also very easy to execute. It's up and X, hold, up Y, and then LR right into your synergy burst. Now if you're new to using Chandelure, you can go ahead and go with our recommendation for our support Pokemon. We recommend the combination of Frogadier and Eevee. Frogadier gives you a good long range attack and comes with a very fast charge time which is absolutely awesome. And Eevee increases your attack power and does a small heal prior to leaving the battlefield. So you can utilize Eevee and Frogadier in whatever capacity fits your playstyle. The choice is ultimately yours, so be sure to play around with other support pairings as well. And that's going to wrap it up for today's episode on Chandelure. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Redonk Gaming. Visit our website, www.redonkulousgaming.com. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. Make sure that we keep making cool videos like this. Till next time, guys.